Hello everyone, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. I am Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and today we are going to continue our journey down this path of intrigue and mystery and why is a fiend lord summoning a hellish porcupine from the center of the earth to destroy us all. Uh, when last we left off, we had faced a very scary boss who actually gave us a bit of a run for our money, and we had actually, well, braved the end of the world to some degree. Uh, we didn't actually stick around because presumably we would have tried to fight the final boss and that would have ended poorly, but if you go into this little bucket here, well, yeah, you go to the Day of Lavos, 1999 AD, which is when the world doesn't end but is severely devastated. Although, we're not going back there, but I do wonder now actually that I think about it, what happened to Lavos after the Day of Lavos? Like, he's not still around, is he? Presumably no one would be left if he was. Or it was. Like, did it just use all of its power up and then fade away into nothingness, leaving nothing but a shattered and burning world behind? Because, I mean, that's metal, but ultimately it seems kind of pointless, especially because we don't know what became of Magnus. But, anyway. Uh, we have two choices on where we can go currently. We can either go back to the year 600, I want to say, this one? Yes, Truce Canyon, 600 AD, and see if we can't find out more about who or what Lavos is, why Magnus summoned it. Magnus? Magnus. Anyway. Uh, or, we can go to the Mystic Mountains of 65 million BC. <laughs> Which, uh... I'm kind of torn, honestly, because I can only imagine one of two things will happen, depending on which route we take. We'll either go and get Frog, who I named Cyrus, perhaps incorrectly, but regardless, we're going with it, by going back to 600 AD, or we can get the other party member, whose name I'm not aware of, but who's the, like, barbarian Amazonian chick with the club, and she rides dinosaurs and such. I can only assume that 65 million BC would be her time. I'm not really sure which one I want to do first. So I like Cyrus a lot. But also new party members completely. Which I think is what's going to win out. Let's go. We're going back to the past. To 65 million BC. I'm going to set my timer because I forgot to. This is a groovy little beat we got going on. Oh, I wonder, if I went back to the fair in 1000 AD and we went up to the Primal Dancers or the Tribal Dancers or whatever they were called, would this beat match what they were doing? Oh, come on. Wait, another Berserker Ring? Really? Well, that's awesome. Wait, was that... Hold on, did that reduce her damage? Oh, like, her damage is described because she's not berserking currently. That makes sense. Okay. Let me see, though, real quick. Can we go up this way? Oh, we can. And that's where the gate is. Okay, cool, so we can go back whenever we want. Awesome. And that is good to know. But for now, we are going to proceed on a downward path and presumably fight dinosaurs? I think that's what I saw down here. Oh god, a bunch of them. Well, one thing for it. Let's go, team! Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, supersonic spin, let's go. I love all the little animations for all the dual techs, they're so great. Whoa, we only killed one of them there? Okay, they're tougher than I gave them credit for. Only by a little bit, it seems. Oh god, especially when we get the crits in there. Especially when Marl is just obliterating them, god. Again, I know she's, like, well... 
I don't know that she is, but it seems like she's built to kind of be the healer caster, but... Slap a Berserker ring and a good bow on her, and she can pump out some damage. What the... Wait, they're the guys... Kill Wallas. Yeah, they're, they're the guys from, uh... The End of Time. The Phil-esque dude who trains us how to use magic. He's one of these. Although, I guess maybe this isn't actually what he looks like, because he said that his appearance changes based on our strength. So... He probably becomes more menacing as we get stronger. We obtain a petal. What pray tell does a petal do? Is it? It's a key item. No, wait. No, I want to see what it is. Huh. That's weird, it doesn't tell us. Okay. Oh, these guys sleeping? Not anymore, they're not. Alright, let's go. Ow. Okay, so it seems like they might have a pretty nasty counterattack. That's good to know. We'll just throw a supersonic spin in. Maybe. M maybe. There we go, jeez. Throw a supersonic spin down and deal with the problem. Very nice. We obtained a horn. Is that also a key item? It is. Wait, we have two of them? We must have got one from that other group, too. Why are these key items? More kill wallows. Oh, again. Why do I get the sneaking suspicion that our new party member is going to be extremely angry that we've killed all of these creatures and, like, is going to use the pieces we're taking from them as evidence that we did the dirty deed or something? I really hope not. I don't want to brawl with our friendly new Amazon. Is she shooting three arrows when she does that? That's sick. Yeah, she is. Holy crap. Is that just on her crit animation, or is that always with that bow? Awesome. Cool. You got another pedal. Okay. Hmm. Let's just... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Not equipment. There we go. Just slam some potions down real quick here. God, Robo's got so much HP, I love it. Oh! Okay. 65 million BC, there you go. What is our... Do we have a world map here? We do. Oh. We're even... Wait. Oh, we're down there. Holy... This area is huge. Although I guess it looks like there's... Only so much of it that's actually traversable. This is interesting, though. Like, the other land masses have appeared fairly similar. I guess to denote that, relatively speaking, we're still fairly close in time through each instance. But then this one, in the land mass, is completely different. This is like a Pangea thing we got going on here. For those of you who aren't aware, which hopefully is not many of you, but if it is, then. No shame in it. Uh, Pangea is the former supercontinent that was theorized or proven, I'm not 100% sure on that front, uh, to have existed way, way back in the day before all the continents drifted apart. Here's your random geography, maybe? Maybe that's geography? <laughs> your random geography knowledge for the night. I don't know if I want to go into the forest maze yet, actually. Can we even go anywhere in the forest maze? We can go to the right. We can't go to the right. We can't do anything with the forest maze. All right, we're leaving the forest maze. <laughs> it was a fruitful adventure, let me tell you. Ioka hut. Oh, we have barbarians. They look pretty much exactly like the people who are in the village, so I guess we have fairly accurate historical renditions of these people. Reptite scales cold blood. Hard to beat. 
What? What does that mean? Drink happy water? Drink, feel good. They're going to give me alcohol. Sure. Let's get Chrono sloshed. Oh. Or it'll just restore our stats. Okay, handy. You reptite friend, I beat you up. Okay, so they call dinosaurs reptites, I'm guessing? Are reptites the prehistoric ancestors of fiends the same way these barbarians are the prehistoric ancestors of humans? Another Ioka hut. Look at this little Bam Bam ass fucking little <laughs> kid. You wear funny skins. Even if it's a child, male, female, what have you, they're all going to have that dumb barbarian voice. I hope you all realize this. You want to see pretty stone? Red stone. Chief has. Okay, what is this? Where is this man's face? Like, okay, on the woman over here, like, you can clearly see her eye and, like, the hair is over, like, another eye, whatever. But, like, what? Why does this man look like a cyclops? Like, what am I, what am I looking at on that dude? Chief Hut, north of village. Okay. I like that, despite the fact that we have a robot, no one questions it. Chief's Hut, alright, we'll go to the Chief's Hut last. Oh, hello everyone. Lightning Stun Dinosaur, you know? So they do have a name for dinosaurs. So are reptites just fiends then? Also, I can use light magic on dinosaurs to stun them. That's handy, I guess. Go hunt hunting range. Get petal, fang, horn, feather. When rain, rare monster come out. Rare one. Good hunt. Petal, fang, horn, and feather. We have petals and horns, but not fangs or feathers, I don't think. No. Huh. And when does it rain? Is there random weather effects in this? I never noticed it before, if there is. Hmm. This, trade house. You bring things. Trade for new things. Trade! Trade your shiny stone. They have medicine. Okay. You strange. Have good stuff? No, chief no say okay. No can trade. Well, I guess we have to go and talk to the chief, huh? There does not appear to be anyone home in the chief's hut. Okay. Well, that shoots that plan in the foot. Oh. I didn't expect this to be an area we could just enter. It's the meeting grounds for those not able to watch the video. Strong person become chief. Man, woman, boy, girl, no matter. Ioka chief, big muscle. Well, one can only hope, huh? You come mountain? Strange mountain. Strange thing happen. That's why Mystic Mountain. I'm... Ch check the map real quick here. I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing they're talking about the mountain in the center there. With some sort of evil citadel on top of it. Presumably where the reptites are at, I guess. La Ruba clan hide in North Woods. Always hide. Run from reptites. They weak. So they're elves. We fight reptites. La Ruba clan no fight reptites. La Ruba clan called Dactyle fly in sky. We no can call. No can fly. Okay. Well this person... Kind of looks like the other girl who's the party member. Kino. Where are you from? Why you here? Kino no like you. I mean, you know, fair enough, Kino. If that's the way you feel, who am I to tell you otherwise? Okay. Well, it seems like we don't really have much recourse on where else to go but north. I guess we'll probably get a dactyle and fly over to the... There we go, look at me. Get a dactyle and fly over to the mountain. Whoa. That's not what I expected a dactyle to look like. 
Also, these rocks have eyes? Yes, they do. Yep, 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 yep. It's a cave ape? Uh... What the hell is this? What is a skist? Oh god, why does the cave ape hurt so much? Okay, we took out the rock. One rock, anyway. Yeah, what is a skist? Why does the cave ape hurt so much? Okay, that hurt. Okay. Ow! Oh, Chrono, my boy. We're gonna toss you a healing beam. Holy Jesus. Wait, what? Aura beam, aura beam, aura beam, aura beam. Wait, we can't do that. No! How do I... Wait. There's a lot of things that just happened. We got a fang. Chrono survived with one HP somehow. Why wasn't I able to heal with Robo? Yeah, where was his cure beam? I know I was trying to use Aura Beam with him because of Marl, but he should still be able to use Cure Beam, right? Weird. We'll heal up quick. Then we'll have to experiment with that. Wait. Oh. Oh. No, that's okay. What are these things? Alright, Avian Rex. Well, you're getting lightning. Please don't! Oh my. Well, it did a lot of damage, but it didn't kill it. That killed it. See if a rocket punch lightning blast takes it out. I love that he pounds his chest like a gorilla before he shoots his rocket fist. That's pretty great. We got a feather. Okay. We got some level increases across the board. So we have all four items now, right? Yeah, we have a horn. Well, two horns, two battles. Battles? What? Brain, please. Two horns, two petals, a fang, and a feather. But thank god I have a pop shield, because that combination of consonants would have just devastated the recording. Tain a mid-ether, okay. Um, so we have all those things. And then they said when it rains, it'll bring out a powerful monster. That's weird. Alright, let's go. We know you're all hiding here. Get that supersonic spin! One of them didn't take any damage? Wait, what? What was that? They all did that little animation. What, what does that mean? They were like charging up or something? And they all do this eruption thing after they use that, but why don't. Okay, okay, relax. Why didn't the one take damage, though? Does it increase their magic resist or something, maybe? I mean... Okay. All's well that ends well, I suppose. They're handing out lots of potions, which I appreciate, but which also makes me very scared. We haven't quite figured out what these things are weak to, quote unquote, yet, so just kind of have to throw what we've got at them. Let's see how they like a supersonic spin! Ow. Not a whole lot. Please, no! Oh my! Jesus Christ! 
please stop dunking rocks on me. Alright, first things first, we have to get Chrono up right now. Okay, Marl's down. That's a huge problem. Chrono, please don't get immediately... Okay, okay. Hit Robo. Robo's tough. That's fine. Oh my god. Just let Chrono take a turn. Really? What in the name of God? Get this? Really? How is it not dead yet? What is happening with this thing? Dude! Like, it just keeps going. What was that? What horseshit was that? Wow! Okay. Alright. I see your game, game. Oh, it puts us right here. That's nice. I didn't expect it to have an autosave like that. Okay, so, uh, fuck little rock guy. Jesus. That thing needs to go immediately. Also, we're gonna take... We're gonna take the Berserker Ring off of Marl, I think. Just so we have a greater variety of heals. Yeah, the little rock guy needs to go. So, okay, when it does that little animation, that's it, like, readying its fire attack, I guess, which then just starts spamming. Come on, guys. Thank God. Now we can focus on the friggin' ape gorilla things. Okay, Rocket Punch does good damage. Everyone's doing good damage, actually. Good, okay. So, killing the rocks, that's key. Because without the rocks, I mean, the ape gorilla things, bat gorilla, dino gorilla things, aren't that big of a deal. Like, yeah, they hurt when they hit, but it's not too bad. But the volcano just exploding constantly, that's the problem. Wow, that was sobering. I was going to say, what what else is going to jump us? There's no way it's just these two. Dude, let's see if... Okay, well, I didn't mean to accidentally split damage between the two of them. Yep. Okay, so it's like as soon as you hit them, they armor up. Everyone just kick the snot out of it. Good. Okay, now we kill the... Ah... Now we kill the cave ape. Good. And then now we kill this thing. So I feel like these enemies are kind of built... Yeah, because they, they do that as soon as they get hit. These enemies, I feel like, are definitely built to be the anti-AoE spammers. Because if you AoE spam them, then they're all going to activate and start spewing lava at you in rapid succession. And that's just untenable. Even with just one of them, like we saw in the last fight. That was insane. Mesozoic male, you say? Wow, that's a big jump. Um, I mean, again, not to fly in the face of branding, but like min maxing, that is the way to be. Also, we are quickly running out of potions. 
We still have mid potions. But I don't like not having any regular potions. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Not quite dead, though. Ooh, now definitely dead. Once you get down to one enemy, it's fairly easy to just auto-attack them into the ground. Nice. Ooh. Robo-tackle and ice-tackle. Okay. What do we got here? No? Okay. Stop it. Charge and attack an enemy, okay. And then attack an enemy with glacial ice. Nice, okay. So I'm guessing... Higher damage output than like a rocket punch or something, maybe? It's the only reason I can really see to justify using it. This is pretty, but ominous. What the? Uh... Uh... Did I just find my way through here for nothing? What? Also... That's got to be a comet or something. Is that Lavos? Did Lavos crash down to Earth in some sort of egg or something and then lie slumbering beneath the depths depths for millennia? Like, are we looking at a Cloverfield type of situation here? Regardless, it doesn't seem like there's anything else we can do here. Is weird. Oh, really? Okay. We have to fight our way back out, huh? Alright. You're gonna get ice tackled, motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> okay. That was some damage. Awesome. We're getting a lot of levels here. I, f I feel like we're over leveled or under leveled for this area. <sighs> if we're not supposed to be here, okay. where are we supposed to go then? No, I don't want to fight these guys. They're scary. Well, with a crit, we might not have too bad of a time. Alright, cool. One round of attacks with a crit is definitely enough to finish them. And is one round of attacks without a crit enough? Probably not. The answer is no. There we go. So, I feel like that twinkling light in the sky is definitely some sort of, like, meteorite comet wipe out the dinosaurs type of thing. And it's gotta be related to Lavos in some way. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be. It could just be that that's what happens in this time, but... I feel like Survey says that it's not something so simple. You're just gonna hang out here, aren't you? Okay. That's fine, I'll ice tackle you into the dirt again. I'm not afraid. That's... wow. All these dual techs have been so satisfying to use, but that one in particular is pretty nice. Good.
Well, we'll get out of this area. And we'll save... Oh god, I didn't... <sighs> okay, everyone just kill the gorilla thing quickly. Quickly now. Oh god, he's throwing a rock at us. Chrono! <sighs> Does he counter with that? Jesus Christ! Alright, good kill, Robo. Please heal yourself right now. I don't think they do anything until you hit them. Yeah, it seems like they don't. That's pretty cool. Especially if you kill the uh, ape gorilla thing first. Good crit. Robo had that big punch on the gorilla. That was satisfying. Yeah, I've got these guys figured out. I see how they work now. There we go. Okay. Got another fang. So... Uh... Maybe... Huh. Okay, well, we definitely have another area to go at the very least. Alright, well, this has been interesting. Um, not entirely sure what to expect from this area yet. Uh, it's clear that there's more going on than meets the eye. We haven't encountered the other tribe yet that apparently hides in the woods, but there's some strange meteorite, potentially Lavos egg or something in the sky. And then there is this weird fortress over here in the mid-right. So, there's a lot potentially going on. Uh, for now, we're going to use a shelter. And we're going to save. Because things are tough in there. Um, well, when we come back, we're going to see if we can't find this other tribe of people who apparently fly with the dactyls. See if we can't find our other party member. And then see if we're somehow going to be brought down via dactyl to the center of the island or the continent. Where that, what I can only, is, a te what do they call them, tectites, te te teptiles, something. Um, where those guys are at. And see if they have any relation to fiends. But for now, that's all the time we have. Thank you all so much for watching. It's always a pleasure. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, share with a friend. Spread the love around. It's always fun to get more eyes on the project and uh, see what people have to say about it. But I just appreciate you watching it through to the end. Beyond that, have a good night. Take care of yourselves out there. Be good. Bye-bye.